Pythagoras theorem and triplets objective Pythagoras theorem let us know the different parts of a right triangle the two sides that form the 90 degree angle are called the legs these two sides are always the shortest two sides of the right triangle the side that is opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is always the longest side of the right triangle. Want an easy way to remember which ones are the legs? If you trace them, they will form the letter L for legs. Don't assume that hypotenuse is always drawn slant. The Pythagorean theorem or Pythagoras theorem is a formula relating the lengths of the three sides of a right triangle. This theorem is frequently used in architecture, woodworking or other physical construction projects. For instance, say you are building a sloped roof. If you know the height of the roof and the length for it to cover, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the diagonal length of the roof's slope. Although the theorem has been long been associated, the theorem Take a right-angled triangle ABC, right-angled at B. Form the squares on side AB, BC and AC. Color the squares drawn on the legs of the triangle. Dissect the squares on legs into unit squares. Place all the unit squares on the square on the hypotenuse. What do you observe? We observe that the unit squares of the two squares on the legs completely cover the square on the hypotenuse. Therefore, we can say that in a right-angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now let's verify the converse. That is, if the square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then is the triangle a right-angled triangle? We can verify this by doing an activity. Make squares of sides lengths 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. Now join the three squares such that they form a triangle. Now trace the triangle and measure the angles of the triangle. Which type of triangle did we get? we get a right angle triangle. Now repeat the same thing with squares of sides lengths 5 cm, 12 cm and 13 cm. Again, we get a right triangle. Hence, its converse is also true. Pythagoras triplets the integers which satisfy the Pythagoras theorem are known as Pythagoras triplets. Three positive integers A, B and C are said to be a Pythagoras triplet if they satisfy the condition. C square equals to A square plus B square. Here are a few examples of Pythagorean triplets. 3, 4, 5. 6, 8, 10. 5, 12, 13 9, 12, 15 8, 15, 17 12, 16, 20 Summary